this video, I would like to share how we can test AC capacitor with a digital multimeter and analog multimeter. So we talk about AC capacitor. There are many types of capacitor. So the first things and the most important things is once we talk about capacitor, we need to check how many microfarads so some of the capacitor they will label as UF or MF so which we stand for microfarad so here the value is 25 microfarad and the maximum voltage is 450 voltage so this capacitor is they can use 250 volt or 110 volt or 125 volt so below 450 volt AC they can use this capacitor and you have to check the pins so some of the capacitor they will only have a two so this side is one pin this side is one pin so there will be only two pins and some of the capacitor they will have only two wire so the one wire come up from here and the other wire come up from here so I have this side is 4 pin, the other side is 4 pin, but in the end there is only one pin joins to the inside here. So no matter how many pins come up from this side and this side, in the end is only two pins. So which means you can just only use one wire from the other, this side and the other wire from this side. So in case if you need to use 4 pin then so this will be depends on how many pins you need to use. So this not necessary. You must do. This will be depends on how many wire you need to connect. This is just option let you to connect the pins. So this we explain about the capacitor, and the other side here I have 1.5 UF, and this one is 2.5 UF. So to test this capacitor, we need to have a multimeter. So I'm going to explain about this multimeter. So once you want to test the capacitor, you must see your multimeter is either can check the capacitor or not. So I'm going to see this my multimeter. So the capacitor testing is UF. So here I need to see in my multimeter. So this range is DC voltage. This range is AC voltage. Here is DC micro N. This DC 10 ampere. HEF is for transistor. This symbol is for the dial. This is for resistor. So here come again DC voltage. So my multimeter, this kind of multimeter, you cannot test capacitor value. So as I mentioned before in my first video, once you want to use digital multimeter or analog multimeter, the first thing we have to notice about what kind of things we are going to test. So now we are going to test capacitor. So capacitor is testing on microfarad. So this multimeter, there is no microfarad number. There is no microfarad testing mode, so we cannot use this multimeter. So there are a lot of uh, multimeter. Some of the multimeter you cannot check capacitor. Here I have another model. So the first thing I need to check around my multimeter, either it can check the capacitor or not. So here this is for AC voltage. This is DC voltage. And here is this AC millivolt. This is DC millivolt. Here is AC millivolt, DC millivolt. And here is the ohms. And here, this range. This is the symbol for the capacitor. So this multimeter can check capacitor. So until how many microfarad you can test this multimeter is you need to check on your model according to your digital multimeter model you, you need to check the maximal testing mode 
So the maximum testing mode will be written or when you buy your multimeter there will be description or your multimeter here is the description here so this model is testing range is here maximum 1000 microfarad so I need to select to capacitor testing mode so I press one time this dial mode here and so it comes to the buzzer mode here and we comes to the capacitor mode so capacitor will be starting from NF which will be stand for nanofarad so here the lead is the remains so com is always black and red is here vo buzzer hux AC DC and capacitor so this capacitor so any capacitor before you test you must discharge you can use either a test pen or any meter so to discharge in case if your capacitor is the old one and there is the current inside then your multimeter can be damaged so you must discharge short each pin mm -hmm. then this is safe now and your multimeter so one side the other side here so let me get the reading so 23.57 microfarad so this capacitor is a steel we can still use so here here so it's supposed to be 25 microfarad and I get the reading is 23.5a and because there will be plus or minus 5% so this is minus 5% so this capacitor is still new still can be used so the same I have one a small capacitor this is also 1.5 UF and the maximum voltage is 450 voltage so we need to short each pin here either you short each pin the small one like this or you use test pen so this for to discharge and I should get 1.5 So I get 1.39A. So this capacitor still, still can be used, but basically this is already low. So if you your motor is slow and you can replace the new capacitor. Right? So another one here is 2.5 microfarad. It's short. Discharge. Mm -hmm. And the one pin from here. So this is 4 pin, but this 2 pin is basically connected from inside. So either you use 1 pin from here and the other side pin from here. So these two are linked from inside. So you can just use one side, any pin from here and one pin from uh, this side. So one side of the pin here. Mm -hmm. 2.5. So I get 2.438 so this capacitor also still new all right so this is how we can check the capacitor so the capacitor usage are any AC motor so you can use for the fan or you can use for your uh, washing machine or they use in on air core or any compressions any things that install the the AC motor so same goes to this kind of capacitor they can use air core or a washing machine or water pumps or anything that coffee machine or any things that install the AC motor so don't confuse that there is a lot of pin here in the end there is only two pin one from here the other side from here so you can just use one pin from this side and the other side pin from this side 
so this is how we test with a digital multimeter and we stick to analog multimeter right I have one analog multimeter here right so again uh, this that this is why we have to remember the entity we want to test so we need to check that our multimeter is can test either capacitor or not so this multimeter this range is for DC voltage and this range is for AC voltage and this is buzzer and here is for DC milliamp and this is for the ohms or milliamps and continuity so there is no capacitor testing mode in this analog multimeter but analog multimeter what the good things about is we cannot read the value of the capacitor but we can sense that either this capacitor is either work or not work either the is good or totally damaged but we cannot check exactly the value so how we can select is we need to use in the the ohm scale here so this is ohm scale times 1 times 10 times 100 and times 1k times 10k so you can directly select to times 10 times 1k and use as connectivity right so we select to the zero here so as usual we need to discharge the capacitor always discharge the capacitor when you're testing and then once you discharge if the capacitor is still good and once we testing that the needle we move we uh, come up here then uh, they will draw it back so this we indicate that the capacitor is still can charge all right so here one pin from this side there is no positive and negative so any pin so one pin from this side the other pin that observe our multimeter all right so here this will be only the first time so if you second time you test again the capacitor has already charged because there is a battery there is a voltage from this multimeter so the voltage is already supplied to this capacitor so there is already uh, energy already stored inside the capacitor so you cannot measure anymore so if you check here the needle will not move anymore so we need to discharge first discharge your capacitor and then either this capacitor still can store energy or not so once the moment you connect both sides here then the capacitor will charge the needle will come here and will draw back so this capacitor is still good then the second time the capacitor is already stored energy right but we cannot check the value here but we can identify this capacitor is still can use if your capacitor once you're testing if the needle is not moved anymore or either is already moved and never draw back which means the capacitor is already damaged so here you discharge first and one side here and the other side you will never get the value here you will just only see the needle here so here this is very low so this pin this is a little bit higher so only we move only one time alright so this is how you can identify your capacitor value with digital multimeter and analog multimeter I hope you like this video and thank you for watching.